It's hot on the Gulf Coast, too. Mm, yes, it's another downright <sighs> uncomfortable day with temperatures soaring to the mid 90s mm -hmm. with that real feel once again in the triple mm. digits. We continue tracking this dangerous heat. Our Tyler Finger checking in now to uh, tell us what people are saying they're doing to stay safe. Tyler. Yes, yeah, Shelby or Lenise, the message I've been hearing over and over again today was hydration. You know, in this high heat, parents and guardians know that it can get incredibly dangerous in an instant. It's felt like summer for weeks and the kids have been enjoying every second of it. But now it's officially the first day of summer. I'm dumbfounded. I'm lost. It's never been this hot here before. And like, yes, Saturday. It was like when you walk out the door, you just, you wet. This first day is certainly living up to expectations with temperatures soaring into the mid 90s and the feels like in the triple digits. For kids, this heat can be especially critical if precautions aren't taken. It's summer vacation, so the grandkids want to go out, you know, and always take, uh, you know, plenty of water. Um, Make sure there's plenty of shade. <laughs> hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. <laughs> Please keep your children with water. We drink lots of water. I don't necessarily drink cold water. I drink it lukewarm so it won't like shock my body. While there are ways to stay safe in this heat, some are trying to limit their time outside, while others are trying to safely embrace every second. I'm out here and I'm taking in all the sun I can because I'm always at the desk. I don't go out as much, yeah. <laughs> I try to stay indoors where it's cool. Yeah, I think Phyllis has the right idea there. Unfortunately, this heat is expected to get even worse. So, you know, the best thing to do, probably get hydrated right now ahead of tomorrow and then ahead of the next few days. We're live in Mobile tonight. Tyler Fingert, Fox 10 News.